bendito San Jude para ser siempre consciente de este gran favor. Look. Is not the prayer of Saint Jude? The patron saint of hopeless cases? You think Dad's a hopeless case? No. No. Just willing to try anything, you know, the doctors say the longer it takes him. Hey. <laughs> Can't hurt, right? How you old? Hmm? I'm fine, I guess. I don't know. You want some, uh, some time alone with your dad? No. I just want you to know it wasn't my idea to turn that syringe that we found in here over to the police. What syringe? Oh, hey, Sean. Is uh, Danny around? She just wanted to be with her mom. Thanks. She asked not to be disturbed. I mean, she doesn't want me to disturb her. Not exactly her favorite person right now. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. You argued over her uncle two miles, didn't you? What are you talking about with syringe? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you would have heard about it by now. Tell me. It's nothing, okay, it's nothing. Just Nate and I, we came to see Dad. Uncle Tomas was here. When he left, we found this syringe on the floor. Did you ask a nurse yeah, about it? Yeah, we told a nurse. She said that they didn't use that kind of syringe here. Um, so we told Sean about it. He, he got worried that Dad might have been injected with something. What? No, Why am I no, not hearing about this now? Because he's fine, Mom. Look, you know what I mean, okay? The doctors checked him out. Everything's fine, okay? John McBain is on this. Wait, wait. How, how did someone get in here? How did they get past because John? Because Nate thinks... Nate thinks that it was someone who was allowed in to see Dad. Who? Uncle Tomas. John McBain's having the needle tested. That's good. Yeah, except... What if I got her uncle in trouble? She's never gonna forgive me. If you got her uncle in trouble, that means your gut was right and so was mine. That means Tomas Delgado was up to no good. Nate thinks the syringe belongs to Tomas? Why? Because he's an idiot. We walked in and Uncle Tomas was standing over Dad. Okay. And Nate thinks that's when Uncle Tomas dropped the syringe, which, God, it doesn't even make any sense. I mean, Uncle Tomas doesn't have any reason to hurt Dad, does he? So your gut's telling you Danny's uncle wants to hurt her dad? I didn't trust the guy from the first minute I laid my eyes on. But between me and you, I feel sorry for anybody who gets on his bad side. What? What, is there some reason that Uncle Tomas would, would want to hurt dad? Mija, Detective McBain asked me about Tomas. About what happened to dad? Uh, he had some suspicions. Nothing concrete, so I did what any good lawyer would do. I snooped. Oh, okay. And? Nothing. Nothing. Your uncle swore to me on your grandfather's grave that he had nothing to do with shooting your father, and I believe him. You believe him? Uh-huh. So you don't think that he's the person that, that dropped that syringe? really screwed up when I told her I thought he dropped that needle. I didn't even see anything. So why'd you say something? Because as much as her dad hates me, I can't let anything else bad happen to him. It would just kill her. You did the right thing by getting McBain involved. But now you gotta smooth things over with Danny. I know. I gotta make it right, but I don't even know how. She won't accept any of my calls. And now she's in there, but she doesn't want to be disturbed. No, I don't believe that Tomas had anything to do with the syringe you and Nate found, okay? I don't think he's out to get your father. Good, because I don't believe that. God, Nate had no right to accuse him of that. Sweetheart, don't be mad at Nate. He's only trying to protect your father, which is pretty remarkable considering how your father treated him before all this happened. Yeah. Dad was pretty over the top about me. <laughs> you know, to be fair, I think.
think there was more going on with your father than just him being overprotective. What do you mean? I overheard him on the phone a few times. It sounded like someone was pressuring him. Who? About what? I wish I knew. Because whoever it was, I, I think is the person who did this to him. Mom, did you check out the calls or anything? See where, see where they were calling from? Danny, you know me better than that. Of course I did. What did you find? It was a restricted number, and when I'd ask your father about it, he'd clam up. So, listen to me. Listen. All we can do is keep protecting him the way Nate was. And when he wakes up, we'll ask him who wanted him dead and why. Yeah. Danny, what is it? What is it, honey? Mom. I know we haven't talked about this. Ted's been out a long time. I know. Is going to happen. You still think he's going to wake up? Mom? Are you sure? Um, yeah. Um, uh, what, is, what is it? What's going on? Is everything okay? My everything's cool. Okay. I just want to tell Danny Nate's out here with me, and he's waiting to talk to you only if you want. Go talk to him. Okay? You should go talk to him, honey. You're not gonna answer me about that. Listen to me. Your father's gonna wake up. Could. There's nothing else I can tell you. Thanks for trying, John. Nate! I'm sorry. I was suspicious you're on. No, no, I'm sorry. I should have realized that you were just looking out for my dad. Considering how well your dad and me get along, I can understand why you'd be confused. But I never should have let my stupid hunch get between us. No, it didn't get between us. Not really. I mean, I'm not mad at you anymore. Good to know. I mean... I love you, Danny. I love you, too. Hey, I promise nothing's gonna come between us. Not even if your dad wakes up? No, not even him. Besides, my mom thinks the reason he was so over the top about you is because... Something else was on his mind. What? She's not really sure, but she thinks my dad might have known someone was after him. <laughs>